so to Old Dominion University we go for the whole enchilada. Highland Springs taking on the 757's best, Maury Commodores, for the ultimate prize, a state championship. And you can tell from the opening kickoff, Springers were ready to do just that, finish. They finish this play on special teams to start the ball game. Maury starts with the football. Remember that, it would be key. Now, early on in the game, Commodores looked pretty good. Looked like they'd be a problem. The run up the middle, good for a first down, number 13, Melvin Lowe. Gains about 20 there, but they ran too many of these passes. Short screens, and Johnny on the spot. Lance Nelson Jr. takes it all the way back, 66 yards for the touchdown. Maybe the biggest play of his career, and he's made many big ones. Maury, they would miss the extra point be sixth up in Island Springs. Ensuing drive, Maury on the move again. Pass caught. Good for a first down for the Highland Springs defense. And this guy was excellent. Brennan Johnson, younger brother of Braylon Johnson, the linebacker, gets the pick. Highland Springs had more where that came from. Unfortunately for the Springers, on the RPO, fumbled the handoff. Maury gets the ball back. So Commodores avoid the turnover, turning into points for Highland Springs, at least on that play. And the defense, though, just kept uh, going to the football. I mean, just absolutely attacking it. Brennan, another tackle. He had double-digit tackles on the day to go along with his interception. He was key on the Springers' D. You want more Brennan Johnson? You got him. A host of Springers there, Johnson included. Played great at the linebacker position, as he has all year long. However, Commodores, late in the first quarter, get it going again on the ground. They had some success early with lead of this. Same drive, second quarter. Deep ball, caught for the touchdown. Commodores come fighting right back. Quarterback, Mario Miller delivers, and he finds Joshua Powell for the long touchdown. They made their extra point, 7-6, Maury in front. But then Highland Springs started going with some option football. And Kmart, Christian Martin, did his thing on the ground. Very effective and proficient on the ground. It would open it up for this and lead to this. Aziz Foster Powell, touchdown run. Springers respond with a touchdown. 12-7, 343 to go, second quarter. Big momentum difference here, and this would kind of change the ball game. They would force a three and out with the Springer defense and then get the ball back with three minutes and change to go. Pass caught. It would lead to this. I said Christian Martin would get it going with his legs. He does. That's good for a first down. Clock ticking. Springers, though, plenty of time for this. Christian Martin firing, finding his receiver. Touchdown to Kai Heath. Short touchdown grab. Springers now in command up two scores. They would have an 18-7 lead on that touchdown pass. Martin didn't have a ton through the air, but he was effective throughout running and passing to Kai Heath. Ensuing drive for Maury on offense. In the span of mere minutes, Heath gets a touchdown catch and an interception. Springers more than happy to go to the half up 18-7, knowing they get the ball back first in the third quarter to start the second half. And that's when they start attacking the edge as well, opening it up. Ja'Kyrie Henley. Guy's got a motor, doesn't he? That's good for a first down with a lead of this. You can run. Outside, look at that cutback. Aziz Foster Powell's gonna make somebody happy at the next level. He made the Springers happy all year long. Really his whole career here at Island Springs. That's good, first first down lead to this, watch what happens. Henley in a quarterback, gets blasted at the goal line. And who's got it, who's got it at the bottom of the pile? Could be a turnover? No, it's Takai Alexander and poetic justice. All he does all year long is open up the running lanes and protect the quarterback for other people to score. He gets his first career touchdown. Couldn't happen at a better time. Springers go for two, and they got it. Now Highland Springs all of a sudden in cruise control up 26-13. As I was texting, Maury returned the ensuing kickoff for a touchdown. So it was 26-7. More Brennan Johnson, one of his double-digit tackles on the afternoon. And Maury trying to come back. Oh, my. Laying the lumber, taking him to the woodshed. It's Miles Green and company. Springers, fourth quarter. 
looking. Karan Ferguson, end around. Whoa, I'm, I'm reversing field, there's nothing there. Karan Ferguson, make yourself a highlight reel you won't forget, young man. In states, to the house. Touchdown, Highland Springs. The Springers outrushed Maury 238 to 114 yards. That was pivotal in this one. Maury would find a touchdown late on this touchdown reception. But as it turns out, the Commodores wanted no Maury of Highland Springs because the Springers get the ball back on the onside kick. Aziz Foster Powell gets the first down to run out the clock. And it is official. The Springers began the season saying, we got to finish. And finish they did as Highland Springs celebrates and let the celebration begin. Christian Martin, terrific in this one. Lauren Johnson, this one's special. He's got both of his sons on this team and both of them get a state championship ring. He's brought to tears. Brennan is hoisted on the shoulders of his teammates. Highland Springs, a moment they will not soon forget. Your 2022 state champions and they deserved it and they go out in style. They bring it back to the 804. Highland Springs 33, Maury 19. It's sinking in right now. Um, sometimes you take it for granted when you're younger. Uh, the more I coach, I just, I'm appreciative of the kids and the community out and, and how everybody works together. Uh, I'm just excited to be here and I enjoy the opportunity as much as I possibly can. My sons are playing. Uh, these are seniors that I've been around. Since they were six, seven years old playing with my boys, uh, I know their parents, I know their families. Uh, it, it's been a long time out of the drought. Uh, so I'm just excited about everything that's going on and to be able to represent Holly Springs in such a fashion. That's all. Uh, I just knew we had to make a play. The offense was looking a little shaky. So me being a senior and this being my last game, I just said I got to make a play. And Kmart trust me on the touchdown when he was on defense. Same thing, we got to make a play. The offense moving slow. So he ran the post. I was over top, and I caught the pick. How does getting over the hump today kind of put your stamp on things, kind of all in the family? Uh, really, I think um, just after that game, we sat back and, and, and just looked at the big picture, uh, what we were doing wrong uh, as a team and how we could be a better team. Uh, we came back, I would say, maybe January or like two weeks after we lost, uh, we got together um, and my dad made shirts that said finish. Um, so I, I got it on me right now, finish. Um, so that's what we did from, from January to, to now in December, uh, the second week of December, I believe. Um, so that's really how we got got together and, and kind of fixed that up. Like Braylon said, then January, two weeks after we lost, um, <clears throat> it was, uh, a lot. Oh. Take your time. You good, Peanut, baby. We're right here with you, dog. 